Hello everyone. So we're on day six pre-transplant. So today I went to the Mayo Hospital and they had to take blood and they had to look to see if um, I was above 60,000 in my white blood cell count. And I didn't. I'm not even close. I'm at 34,000 after two treatments of my white blood cell count. So we're getting a little behind here. Um, so they had to give me three shots today in my stomach. So come to find out, I'm going through a hell of a lot of pain. And it all has to do with, they are giving me what's called Nivestim. N-I-V-E-S-T-Y-M. Instead of Nupagen. Come to find out, insurance covers the Nivestim better than it covers the Nupagen. And the Nupagen would make me feel like I had the flu. And the Claritin should work. And I wouldn't have half the side effects I'm having. But with the Nivestim, it has a super amount of side effects thanks to my insurance company. So I have to deal with all of the pain I'm in and the hematoma that formed because of it on my bone marrow biopsy, so it's hard to walk. And I wouldn't have half of these symptoms if they gave me the Nupagen. So I will not be having Nupagen anymore. We will be fighting that aspect <laughs> from now on. I've learned the hard way with this one. Um, did find out that some of the other people that are going through this with me ended up in the hospital over Nevistem because they have the same issue that I have and we're all having the same side effects. But, uh, one of the guys on it, I guess almost had a heart attack and he had to go into the hospital this weekend over it. So, um, this stuff is known to be pretty nasty. I don't know why they use it. When the other one doesn't have any of these side effects. So we just got to take it as we do and deal with it. So I am laying down. Dealing with all the pain. And just talked to my doctor. They said don't worry about the hematoma uh, as long as my, my hemoglobin doesn't drop. So we're just going to let it play its course. I'll have to stop my blood thinners tomorrow. Unfortunately, I got to be very careful with that right now. But that should, once I stop my blood thinners, it should help the hematoma um, to try and dissipate because that makes it stay clotted, unfortunately. I know it sounds crazy, but um, so that's the latest update. Didn't make the numbers. So tomorrow we shoot for having um, numbers go over 60,000 on the white blood cell count. Praying. I don't need any more of those shots. And then I'll get a Mobazil shot and tomorrow evening to get ready for collection, hopefully on Tuesday, as long as I reach my numbers. So uh, from 34 to 60, uh, we just got one more set. So hopefully this time it will do it. All right, everybody. That's the latest update. Sorry, it's not all great news. All right. Love you. Bye.